Hey y'all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Today I'm uh, reviewing some uh, fish food that's just recently came into Australia from uh, Aquaforest. You can see on screen here they've got a, um, a big range and a fair diversity of uh, different types of fish food. Um, all sorts of things from uh, obviously like your seaweed sort of clips um, and some foods there that are specifically meant for um, colouring fish up and uh, uh, also some specific diets to um, some fish that are a little bit big particular on what they eat. Um, today I'll be looking at some food that they've brought in specifically for anthias, but um, also obviously any fish can eat it. It's not, uh, it's not like the other fish aren't going to like it, it's just me. It's specifically for the um, anthias metabolism. And uh, I've got the Anthea Pro Feed Small, um, which is a, a really fine little pellet. It sinks fairly quickly. Um, it's got a nice uh, soft and slightly moist feel to it. And uh, the other food I'll be reviewing is this uh, aquaforest plankton elixir, which is a liquid food. Let's see how we go. You maybe also see I've got a GoPro in the tank to see if we get some cool footage of it, um, of the fish eating it, and then we'll see how we go. We'll start, <clears throat> start off with this uh, plankton elixir. Let's give it a bit of a shake. And I'm gonna just uh, tip some into the tank. See, it uh, creates a fair feeding frenzy. It's kind of meant more for the um, shrimp than uh, corals, but uh, my fish go crazy over it. And um, that's all right if it gets a, gets a feeding reaction like that from them, it's going to be good for the rest of the tank, too. All right, next up, uh, we got this uh, Pro Feed S. Um, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera there or not, but it's a really small pallet. They're quite soft and a little bit sort of, they feel a tad moist. I've fed these before and um, the fish, not just the anthers, go fairly crazy for it. See even the big guys get in there and chase after it. These little glass cardinals um, always go pretty hard for food for a fish that remains pretty static. What are you doing there, Ruby? Okay. <clears throat> do you think the fish like it, Ruby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they do. Put a little bit more on this end. It's a pretty quickly sinking pallet, but um, I must admit, not a lot of these make it to the sand before they're gobbled up. Okay, so while we get one last view in tank of uh, what the fish get to view, um, let's just uh, wrap up this uh, review on this fish food and um, I'll give a little bit of footage of it uh, entering into my soft coral tank as well, just uh, for a bit of background while we uh, go over the pros and cons of this food. Um, firstly, I mean, it's a fish food, so at the end of the day, one of the most important things is do the fish like it? I think it's fairly evident to see that uh, the fish go fairly bonkers for it and um, eat it up like no tomorrow. And, Ironically, that's not just the uh, the pellet food, but the liquid food as well, which is really meant for uh, inverts and some corals. Um, my fish go crazy for it. it. It literally is like chum when you go fishing. You pour it in the water and the fish will come up biting from everywhere. So um, if you're having some trouble with some uh, difficult fish and, and trying to get them into even eating pellets, I'd probably recommend soaking the pellets in some of that uh, plankton elixir first and... Um, watch them just try to ignore it then because there's no way knowing it'll happen. Um, that they will just smash it and they will eat food until the um, cows come home. Which I guess leads me to the um, cons. I've been using uh, these foods for about, a, uh, I was gonna say a week, but about 10 days now. Um, and yeah, granted, I put way too much in. You'll be able to see that from the video. Um, but as a result of such a rich food source and the amount I'm putting in, I have seen a relatively noticeable difference in nitrate and phosphate. I'm going to say that's a con of the product, but realistically, it just comes down to heavy-handed me pouring too much in. So um, it ultimately, it comes down to a pro, I guess. You can use less food. It's not going to waste. It's not like other foods where half of it sits on the sand bed, rotting away and adding to your nitrates and phosphates that you then have to pull out. This food um, gets completely consumed. Um, so you can put a lot less in. 
takes uh, an old dog like me a little while to learn these tricks. But um, once I narrow that down and keep my nitrates and phosphates under control, I'm really keen to see how the fish colour up and uh, whether they keep their nice healthy and fat status like I like to keep my fish, and um, I'm certain they will. So um, anyway, without any more rambling from me, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe for more videos, and um, I'll see you next time on Parker's Reefs. Cheers.